Hey YouTube, how's it going? So I have a project that I'm trying to start right now. I'm starting to kind of like get my, my setup together. Obviously I have my, my desk, little selfie light, my computer. I got, I got my everything over there, but I don't have a good backdrop. So my backdrop right now is some artwork and I got this LED strip. I saw this cool thing online. I'll, I'll throw it here in this next clip of these uh, battery powered uh, RGB tubes and they look really cool but the problem is is they're like three four hundred dollars and I didn't want to spend that so my goal today is to try to do that with a RGB strip and a fluorescent light that I have um, and I, I bought a controller and stuff for RGB but we'll get to that later so I'm gonna try to document this process so you can see what I'm going through but the goal is to kind of just like lean lean it in that corner so so far all I have are the RGBs, the controller, and power strip. And then I'll show you what I'm gonna go put it in. Hi, all right, we're in, we're in my garage. Sorry, it's a, it's a bit of a mess out here, so <laughs> bear with me. This is gonna be the housing for the uh, RGB tube that I want to put together. And I've watched a few videos of people using a heat gun, which I, I've, I've tried. Um, and it, it, it's kind of like melted this thing and it never came off the tube. So I'm, I'm less prone to do that way. The second is I do have a Dremel, so I'm going to try to Dremel this off and then hopefully, um, it'll be a nice clean cut. I tried this earlier. I can't tell. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm stupid. I, I didn't realize this. The, these are made of glass. It felt like a hard plastic, but nope, they're, they're made of glass. So. I'm gonna use a little extra caution this time. I'm gonna wear gloves. I think we did it. All right, so that worked out a little bit better than I thought it was. The Dremel helped a ton and we got a nice little, little little hole going all the way through. I'm going to keep the current LED strip because I'm going to try I'm going to try to glue the one that I got on top of that. So we'll see what happens. I'm going to see if I can assemble this cleanly. And I got the ones with a lot of lights on it. So look at all those those RGBs. It's hard to tell. It's hard to tell on camera. Camera doesn't want to focus. Take this out real quickly just to see what, a, what I'm dealing with. Here's the controller. It's got the different different ports to put the cable into. Now I just have to hope and pray that the power supply that I have will work. So for this, I have to throw this in there, this in there, this to this, this to this. Before I do any of that, put this guy into this guy. I don't know if anyone else is like me, but look at my, my organized mess. We have tube, tube, two different components that should be with their own components but I have that component right there and I have those components there but part of it's there and there no no that that's the RBG strip see I know where everything is that's all that matters right you got some gorilla glue on the strip so I'm pulling this through right now I think I've I've made it most of the way I did such a good job of this the goal is to turn the RGB strip, turn the RGB strip so it's laying against the old LED that was in there. And now I'm gonna try to use this and push, push it down so it'll start adhering to the bottom pretty well. I'm just gonna keep going. Okay, update. Things got difficult. Gluing the LED inside the tube was probably the most difficult part. Um, I had to get this, get these cables here in there. That was also a little difficult. And I don't even know if they're connected, but I'm gonna give it a shot. So I was able to connect to the connector, but unfortunately, so there's the connector. Unfortunately, I was not able to connect. So I, I, I have a feeling that it's because these wires are, they were done incorrectly. So uh, let me rearrange them and get back to you. 
Okay, so it's the next morning. Things didn't go quite as planned. I had to cut out a lot. For one, I was gluing the RGB strip inside the tube and it took a lot longer than I expected. Pushing it down was probably the hardest part, so I just ended up gluing some of the wires on each end down. Um, that way, at least, it'll stay in place. Part that took the longest and was most finicky, but it got done. Without further ado, let me show you my my $400, not $400, RGB tube light. <laughs> 